currently en route to Pennsylvania. We got a late start, but we plan on sleeping somewhere about two hours away from here. Tomorrow we're going to the waterfall. <laughs> what night is it? Night one. <laughs> We just pulled up to Casey's sign. I will see old trusty Walmart. And we're just gonna sleep here. There's a bunch of cars here. We so. drove about like, what, about an hour and 15, uh, 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got a really late start. We ended up not being ready and just a bunch of stuff popped up. But we made it. So we're one hour in, first night in the van, first night in the bed. Yes. And tomorrow we're gonna hit a waterfall, water slide. See you guys in the morning. Good morning, Kevin. How is night one? It was a little warm at points, but it was not bad. I slept pretty good. Don't forget your mask. I know. How can you forget? So this is where we slept last night at the end of a Walmart parking lot. We are, I think, in Hagerstown just a little bit away from my house in Maryland. And we still have got a little under a two hour drive to get to the Ohio pile. We're gonna go to Cucumber Falls, which is this waterfall we've been to. I think I've been to it a few times. Um, it's super cool. It makes for some really good photos. And then I think we're also, there's apparently some rock water slide there. It looks pretty cool. What did you just see? Stop. We're walking over to our sleep spot in the corner of Walmart. And I realized the tire's flat, you guys. Really it's fucking flat. Time. Are you serious? It's like Look at that. flat. Like, I We're swear. literally just trying to get our groceries. It's 8 a.m. We had a day of adventures planned. Look at this thing. How did we not realize this? Do you think this happened last night? Dude, there's no way we drove on that and didn't know. Look at that. There's a cut in there. Like it I don't know. So we totally would have felt that if we drove with them. You said they would have slashed all of them, you think? Yeah. Are you fucking serious? Does that look like a cut? Hey, how's it going? Um, I'm just calling. We are at the Walmart in Hagerstown and we just realized we have a, a pop tire. Um, and someone rec recommended us to your shop. We're actually not from the area. Get that flat tire sandwich going. <laughs> I went in and bought stuff for peanut butter and jelly because there's nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs> at least we're at Walmart. Day one of adventuring. Oh, we have here. Walmart. We got a soccer ball, so maybe we can play with that. In a few. <laughs> All right, the tow truck is here. Eighty-five dollars. Not stoked about it, but we need to get the van fixed. So there we go. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, look at how flat that is, oh my god, oh, oh no. Damn, look at how beat to shit this thing is. Oh, oh, how did this even happen? So if you guys can see, there's like a little hole right here and this, so the, someone said we hit a curb, but we never. Uh... All right, so they said we got about a two hour wait. Got a tire. Sucks because those tires are pretty much brand new, but it's all good. Duncan is drive through only. We have a car. <laughs> We're gonna try and do curbside. I was thinking about it, but it looked like there was a longer line of cars. I guess we could. You wanna try it? I get so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> so, road trips, it's kind of just one thing to the next. And Bree tried to order online. You know, normal curbside pickup. Of course it didn't work because it's, it's us. And yeah, neither of our cards worked. So I called, tried to see if I could place an order over the phone. And he said, 
no, but you know, you can just go through the window. I was like, oh, we can walk through the drive through And he goes, yes, but please do not put yourself in harm's way and do not get hit by any vehicles. So we're in line. These are the three cars behind us. Yeah. Butter pecan. And can we get a few ice cubes? Thank you. <laughs> that ice cube, baby? What a fucking morning. <laughs> so we just got a call. Van's got a new tire. Looks so good. So we can finally hit the road. Alright, so I think the whole ordeal put us back like 215 but at least we got a new tire. They checked the air pressure on all the other ones, so we're good. All right, so the tire's fixed. I had my first walk-through, drive-through experience, and we got coffees, and we're back on the road. So that's been our morning, and... The tire seems good. It's yes. been a ridiculous morning. <laughs> it has been a ridiculous morning, but yeah, the tire seems good. It's all paid for, and... Two-hour drive. We're on a two-hour drive to some waterfalls and water slides. As usual, Bree and I thought we were just gonna waltz right up and have <laughs> this place to ourselves. Silly us. And as always, we're wrong. <laughs> we're counting on social distancing, keeping people home. Holy crap. However. I mean, if we hit the road when we wanted to, we would have been here at like 10 a.m. But it is, oh, I think, 3, 3 p.m.? Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, so we woke up at like 7.30 this morning. We had great intentions, early start to the day. We're gonna do all this stuff, go through Pennsylvania and either end up in Ohio or West Virginia. But as you guys saw, this is kind of the reality of road tripping and van lifing and stuff like this just always happens. There's always obstacles. So to make this vlog not like a half an hour, we're just gonna end it here. And the next vlog, will be Ohio Pile, which we just parked at, and it's gonna be you know, water slides and waterfalls. But this video is just kind of reality of road tripping and life on the road. Life on the road. We're grateful to be on the road with a full tire. So. All right, we'll see you guys later on the next video. Bye, see you later.